Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial for free outfits that I've come up with. Before we start, these three outfits will require that you have completed the new heist. To be more specific, you'll need to have completed it on the silent and sneaky approach as well as the aggressive approach. Lastly, outfits 2 and 3 will require the vest transfer glitch which the majority of you have already done, but if you haven't done it then I will link it down in the description for you to do before you start these. To begin, we're going to go into the outfit section of the store and go into the Diamond Casino Heist category. Now we're going to go into Upgraded Tech and purchase any of the outfits from here. I personally went for the bottom one, but it doesn't matter which one you choose. If these outfits are locked for you, then that means you need to complete the heist finale on the silent and sneaky approach as I have just mentioned. Upon completion, all of these outfits will then be unlocked in the store for you to purchase. Moving on, we're then going to back out of the outfit section and head over to Pants. Head down the list and go into the utility pants category where we're going to purchase the black knee pad cargoes. They're not too much different from the old style black battle pants but they do look a little bit cooler in my opinion. Anyway we're now going to back out of the pants section and we're going to head over to tops. Now that we're browsing we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to go into the utility vest category. As you scroll through the utility vest you'll notice that the pouches from the other vest will still stay on your outfit. For this particular outfit though, we're going to be using the charcoal plate carrier. Next we're then going to back out of tops and head over to the shoe section. In the boot section, I've decided to go for the black flight boots as I think they look a little bit better than the black tactical boots, but if you want something with a scruffier appearance, then you can use the black scruffy boots. Whichever ones you decide to pick, we're then going to leave the shoe section and we're going to go to the other side of the store to go into the accessory section. Unfortunately we can't wear a scarf because it will make the pouches disappear so instead we're just going to go into gloves and purchase the black tact gloves. At the mask store we're going to start browsing the mask section. In the diamond casino heist category we're going to scroll down the list until we get to the yellow visor respirator. As you can see the night vision has glitched onto the respirator but despite how cool it looks we're not going to be using it for this outfit. Instead we're going to back out of the mask section and go into the hat section. From here we're then going to scroll down the list until we get to the combat helmets category. Now it's completely up to you if you want the dual or the quad lens but personally I'm going to scroll down the list and purchase the black quad lens. If your quad lenses are in the down position then all you need to do is hold right on the d-pad and it will put them in the up position. I'm not going to bother adding any glasses to this because I think it looks pretty cool as it is so we're now just going to head down to ammunition. In the weapon section we're going to purchase a parachute from the top left and then back out. In the interaction menu go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. Now for this outfit you can either use the black or the charcoal combat shoot bag depending on which one you prefer. The last step is then close the interaction menu and head over to the outfit section of the store and make sure that you just save the outfit for the last time and then we're ready to move on to the next one. This is probably my favourite one and it was inspired by the mother base soldiers in Metal Gear Solid 5 if you've played that. As a quick reminder, this one will require the vest transfer glitch which is linked in the description. As we did before, we're going to go into the outfit section, go into Diamond Heist Casino outfits and we're going to select the upgraded tech. For demonstration purposes, I am going to be purchasing the bottom one but it doesn't matter which one you pick as long as it has this vest. Just in case you've skipped ahead, if the outfit is locked for you then that means you need to complete the heist on the silent and sneaky option which unlocks those outfits. Once you complete the heist finale then you can simply just go and buy these as I have here. Ok so now that we have the outfit with the vest equipped we're going to back out of the outfit section and head over to the pants section. Same as before we're going to go into the utility pants category but this time we're going to start scrolling through and purchase the forest green guarded cargoes. Unfortunately these are not unlocked as standard and you will need to complete the heist finale on the aggressive approach if you want this particular colour. Now if you don't mind then you can also use a different colour. Whatever you decide to do, we're now going to head over to the top section. From here we're going to go into the service shirts category and to match the pants I'm going to purchase the forest green guarded shirt. Again if you decided to use different coloured pants because you didn't have the forest green ones unlocked then you can also use a different coloured shirt, it really doesn't matter. Either way you should notice that the pouches from the vest that we were just wearing have transferred over to this shirt. In the accessory section we're going to go into gloves and purchase the black tact gloves from the bottom of the list. After purchasing those, we're then going to back out, open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and we're going to remove this mask. It's at this point that we're going to be using the vest transfer glitch, so once again if you haven't already done it then please do click on the video link in the description. Now press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, verses and we're going to start up crooked cop. You will need to be the host of this mission which isn't too hard considering no one actually plays it anymore so that you can set the clothing to player owned. 
Once that's done, you're then going to confirm these settings and invite a friend or a random person and wait until they join. When that eventually happens, you're then going to start up the session until you get to the outfit selection screen. As explained in the vest transfer glitch video, we're going to press left on the outfit to equip the vest. Now that we have the vest on the top of the pouches, we're just going to simply ready up and wait. Eventually it will start and you'll load into the mission after a short cutscene. It's at this point that we're then going to open up the interaction menu. In style and accessories, we're going to go to gear and equip something like an earpiece. Now we're just going to close the interaction menu, open up the phone and we're going to quit the job. Unsurprisingly, this will take you out of the mission and it will load you into a public free mode online session. You'll notice that you still have the plate carrier over the top of the pouches. In a clothing store, we're going to go into the outfit section and make sure that we save this outfit before we continue just in case something goes wrong. Once that's done, you're then going to need to head over to a yacht. Now it does not have to be yours, it can be a friend's or just a random person in the lobbies. Either way, you're now going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and make sure that you aren't wearing anything on your character's head. When everything has been removed, you're going to press back and go down to auto show aircraft helmet and make sure it is set to on. For the next step, you're going to need a non-weaponized helicopter, so that includes something like the Maverick or the one that I'm using right here. If you look in the front window, you should notice that your character is now wearing a pilot headset. If you're wearing a flight suit helmet, then you have the wrong helicopter. We're now going to slowly fly the helicopter to the back of the yacht and you're going to try to gently land it into the hot tub with the front of it in the water. Exit the helicopter and you should notice that you're just wearing your swimwear. Obviously I'm not a pro pilot so the helicopter killed me, but if you do stay alive long enough then all you need to do is walk out of the hot tub and you should notice that you now have the headset on your character. If you died like I did then that is also fine. As a side note, if you're not wearing your swimwear in the hot tub then you need to change it in the yacht settings or find another yacht if it is not yours. At the mask store we're going to browse the mask section and we're going to make sure that we save the outfit before we continue. With that saved, we're then going to back out and go into the tactical category, and from here we're going to purchase the Mono Splinter Spec Ops. Now that we've purchased the mask, we're going to back out of the mask store and head over to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. We're now going to sprint towards the telescope and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If done correctly, your character will just stand there without the mask instead of looking into the telescope. Okay, so we're now going to open up the interaction menu and we're going to go into style, but this time we're going to go down to where it says outfit. We're going to equip the outfit that we just saved at the mask store which has the pilot headset. When you walk away from the telescope, the mask will reappear but you are still wearing that headset. To finish up, we're then going to leave Dale Peru Pier and we're going to head down to the nearest ammunition. From here we're going to start browsing the weapons section and we're going to purchase a parachute from the top left. Of course, if you already have one like I do, then that is absolutely fine. We're just going to back out and open up the interaction menu. We're then going to go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. And for this outfit, we're going to be using the black combat shoot bag. Now just close the interaction menu and head over to the clothing section of the ammunition and save the outfit for the last time. After that's been done, we're then ready to move on to the last outfit of the video. I do quite like this next one because we have the belt with the holstered gun, we have a vest and we also have the vest pouches. I know we've already done a green outfit in this video so if you want to change the colour then that is absolutely fine. To begin we're going to head down to a clothing store and start browsing the outfit section. From here we're going to go into the diamond casino heist category and go into the upgraded tech. We're going to purchase any of these outfits that has this special vest with the pouches. If these outfits are locked for you, then that means you need to complete the heist finale on the silent and sneaky option. Once you complete the heist finale, you'll then be able to purchase them from the clothing store just like I did there. In the top section, we're going to scroll down the list until we get to the newly added tucked service shirts. For this outfit, I'm going for the sage uniform open, but again, if you want to use a different colour, then that is fine. As with the first two outfits, you'll notice that the pouches from the vest have stayed onto this top. We're now going to need to do the belt or vest transfer glitch, which again is linked in the description if you haven't done it before. So now just press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, versus and startup crooked cop. As I've said previously, you will need to be the host of the lobby in order for this to work so that you can change the outfits to player saved. However, that won't be too much of an issue as no one actually plays crooked cop anymore. Once the settings screen loads up, you're going to go down to where it says clothing and you're going to switch it to player owned. That is the only setting that you need to change, so go down to confirm settings and invite a friend or a random person. When you've got someone and you've started the mission, you'll then go to the outfit selection screen. If you follow the transfer video in the description, then all you need to do is press right in order to equip the belt on this outfit. 
After you've readied up and loaded into the game, you're then going to open up the interaction menu and go into Style and Accessories. Equip the earpiece like we did before and quit the job for your phone. You'll be taken down into a public free mode online session and you should now notice that you still have the belt with the pouches. Now we're going to head down to a clothing store and start browsing the pants section and we're going to go into the utility pants category. For this outfit we're going to purchase the dark grey knee pad cargoes which in my opinion don't actually look grey, they kind of just match the shirt. I'm not sure if it's just my screen but please do let me know if you think the same. Anyway we're then going to back out of the pants section and head over to accessories. From here we're going to go into gloves and go down to the bottom of the list. Unfortunately the black tacked gloves aren't available for this top so we're going to go with the black fingerless gloves instead. Moving on we're then going to back out of accessories and go into the glasses section. Head into sports glasses and scroll down until you get to the beige outlaws. If you prefer then you can also wear the mono outlaws which will match the mask later on but I'm just going to go for the beige ones. Whichever ones you decide to go for, we're then going to back out of the glasses section and head over to the other side of the clothing store to go into the shoe section. We're then going to go into boots and I'm going to purchase the black scruffy boots but if you want a cleaner appearance then you can also use the black flight boots. Okay so it's now time to leave the clothing store and head down to the mask store on Vespucci beach. In the hat section we're going to go into the diamond casino heist category. I'm going to go for the sage scope night vision but you can also use the black ones if you have them unlocked. Now we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and equip an earpiece from the gear section. This will then remove the mask and leave behind a glitchy night vision. Now we're going to go into the mask section and we're going to go into the biker category. Head down to the bottom of the list and purchase the black dome filter which will fit on with the night vision without any issues. With that purchase we're then going to leave the mask store and head over to the telescopes at Del Perro Pier. Okay so same again we're just going to sprint at the telescope at an angle and you're going to press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If done correctly you will just stand there without the mask and night vision and you should not be looking into the telescope. At this point we're then going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and go down to where it says glasses. Now simply just press left until you get to either the beige or the mono outlaws. If you happen to have one then you can also change your earpiece from red to grey but that is completely up to you. When you walk away from the telescope, the night vision and the mask will then reappear but you're still wearing the glasses and the earpiece. You're still also able to move the night vision if that means anything to you. So for the last two items, we're going to head down to ammunition and start browsing the weapon section. Purchase a parachute from the top left and then we're going to back out and open up the interaction menu. Go into style and parachutes and make sure that parachute is set to on and for this outfit we're going to use the black combat shoot bag. Before we finish up, we're then going to go back, go into inventory and body armor and we're going to go down to where it says show armor. Scroll through until you get to the standard armor and then we are pretty much done. We now have the belt with the holstered gun, the pouches and the vest on all at the same time. In the clothing section just make sure that you save the outfit for the last time and then you are pretty much done with the outfit. Unfortunately that is all I have for you guys today so if you enjoyed the video then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel where you can find a bunch of different outfits and tutorials such as this one. If you have an outfit or a glitch that you'd like to send to me then please do make sure that you send it to my email which is militatedyt at gmail.com or to my Instagram which is officialmilitated. I will hopefully be releasing some more outfits soon but once again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.